Hello and welcome back to another collaboration video. This is in line with uh, a lot of other caravan and motorhome vloggers. I'll put a link in the description uh, below or above at the end of the video and you can click on their videos and watch those. This month's topic is five unusual tips when you're caravanning or motorhoming. Now, I had a, a good long think about this and I can say that they're probably not unusual tips. They are probably tips that um, some people do, some people don't do, but I thought I'd share with them. Uh, tip one that we normally do is when we're going away for a weekend, we will take uh, the freezer compartment out of our Dometic fridge. We've got one of the smaller fridges. And what that enables us to do is to have a little bit more room for the weekend for fridge stuff, because we're not going to put anything in the freezer over a weekend. So we take that out. There are two clips at the bottom of the freezer compartment that you just pull, push in, and then the freezing compartment, you open the door all the way up and the freezing compartment comes out completely. So that's a tip that we use for weekends away, short breaks, just to get rid of the freezer compartment. So we have used it for longer breaks when we've not needed anything in the freezer and we can just get that bigger fridge space. So yeah, tip one, take the freezer compartment out. Tip two is one that I've done for quite a, well, as long as I've been carrying on really, is when we're reversing, when we're coming up to our pitch or we're coming back to the storage, I take the stabiliser off the, the caravan, off the hitch. Uh, I don't obviously unhitch it, I just lift the stabiliser handle up and what that does, it stops excessive wear on the, um, on the actual pads the shims and the pads inside and also uh, it turns a little bit easier uh, than not being too tight on top of the tow ball so by just releasing that it turns out a little bit easier and it, it, it and it stops the excessive wear on the on the pads so yeah tip number two is take your stabilizer off when you're reversing tip number three is we never keep our keys for with our posh cuts camping uh, key ring, I don't know if you can see that. Our keys for our security locks for the caravan and our keys for the caravan, we never keep them in the same place. Uh, the the keys for all the locks on the caravan get put in a special place where we hide them away. In fact, I don't even think Angela knows where that is. I need to tell her that. Um, so yeah, we never keep our two sets of keys together. So uh, we don't put any of our lock keys for our wheel locks or our hitch lock on the same key ring as our normal keys because if somebody pinches your keys uh, and obviously then they've got all the, the keys for your locks and they can remove them so we always keep those two sets of keys uh, well apart and we don't keep them together at any point so that's tip number uh, number three so tip number four is to do with your wheel nuts talking your wheel nuts up now we did ours on our car not long ago and we did our caravan ones not long ago as well but uh, I can't remember who told me this tip, but it is a, a really good top tip. I think it might have been Rob's Wise Ways, I think, that um, when we uh, when I talk the wheel nuts up, what I do is I slightly undo the wheel nuts first before I talk them up. And the reason I do that, if you just keep talking the wheel nuts up, every time you put that torque wrench on and you push down, you're just tightening up the wheel nut just a tiny little bit every single time. So what I always do is I just release the wheel nut first a little bit and then torque the wheel nut up and make sure that the torque wrench clicks. Obviously make sure that you've got your torque wrench set to the right correct uh newton meters i think ours is 160 newton meters so yeah just undo them before you tighten them up uh another top tip our last top tip top tip number five is one that um and i don't, I don't know why we do it. well i do know why we do it this way it's just something we've always done is with the toilet cassette now uh when in the morning i'm going to the toilet i always see lots of people emptying the toilet cassette in the morning and we have been caught out a few times uh, in the night getting up and the red light comes on you know the dreaded thing the red light comes on oh my god the toilet cassette needs emptying but i need the toilet and you end up emptying it in the middle of the night well what we've uh, done for quite a few years and we always do is we empty our toilet cassette in the evening probably around about after tea time maybe or just before tea time so we empty our toilet cassette in the evening so we definitely know that during that night that we're not going to have to get up in the night to empty the toilet cassette uh, because the lights come on. Uh, and uh, we, we've done that quite a few times and I've seen people getting caught out in the night with a toilet cassette phone. So yeah, definitely uh, look at your routine and we do ours uh, in the evening. We empty it in the evening and then we know it's definitely uh, empty for the rest of the night. 
So there you go, not necessarily five unusual tips, but some uh, different tips that you may or may not do. Please take time to watch the other videos within the collaboration. As I said, I'll put a link up at the top and there'll be a link in the description to all those other, other videos of the other caravans and motorhome vloggers in the collaboration. Thanks for watching, you take care and we'll see you soon. Bye bye.